11 years ago, Los Manos was relegated from La Liga. And now, the wait is over. Real Zaragoza arrives in the top flight of Spanish football. But as a lot has changed in 11 years, no Lionel Messi, no Cristiano Ronaldo. We don't think it's going to be a walk in the park because there's still a lot of hungry sharks waiting to take their opportunity. But we're going to bring something to La Liga which has never been brought before. Good old Brexit football, 4-4-2. Join us in one of the most unpredictable seasons we will ever have. Hello, hello, you beautiful people. It's back. It's Real Zaragoza. It's our second season, and it's an absolute big one. La Liga waits for Los Manos. Yeah, last episode you saw, we got promoted as champions. We got the job done. But at what cost? Well, I'll get into that later on. But first of all, I just want to say thanks so much for the support in the first series. It means a lot. And as well as that, we've got plenty more of these episodes coming up. So just make sure you just subscribe to the channel. It's going to be uploaded every weekly. Now onto the problem ahead. Now, you saw I got promoted. And thanks to the best friends, they got the job done. But he... Uh, how do I explain this about breaking poor Ivan's heart. Someone just cover his ears, would you? As we're going to take a look at the squad, a lot of players had to return from their loans. The likes of our centre-back, Mourinho, afterwards our right mid, Victor has left us, our highly rated goalkeeper, Ed DeBarg, returned back to his parents' club. But the one that's going to hurt the most, Manuel has returned back to his parent club as well. Yeah, so Ivan's best friend, the person with those two combined who got us 57 goals last season. Well, it's only down to one as we pretty much lost 40% of our starting lineup entering La Liga. It's going to be an absolute blow, I'd say of that. We've got 26 million though, which is good. I'm happy with that. I can do some reinforcements. But the rules stay the same. No free agents only La Liga players. So the first thing I wanted to focus on was the goalkeeper. We lost our highly rated goalkeeper last season, so we needed to get another. We could have gotten Ed Barb because he can play for La Liga, but I decided to go for a bit of a younger option and cheaper as well. 5.4 million pounds from Villarreal for the Danish goalkeeper, Philippe Jorgensen. Now on to Victor's replacement. Now this was pretty hard. Due to the budget, I didn't want to splash out too much. So I decided to go for a loan option from Real Betis. And to be fair, it worked out pretty well as we got Assam Diallo on our two year loan deal with an option to buy for six million pounds. Now to the striker option. I decided to go with something different. I'll explain why later on. But for Real Madrid, 8.5 million pounds was enough to sway them to let go of their striker. Ivan, they've got about time to have some changes. A new best friend. As the striker partnering up with him is going to be Juan Latassa. And well, we did get our final option. We had some spare cash and I really wanted a left back. So for Sevilla, it's going to be another 5.5 million pounds for Javi Lopez. Yeah, so that is going to be the squad. Luckily, Ruben comes in as Mourinho's replacement. Now, you may be all be thinking, what happened to Manuel? I could technically buy him. Well, there was a problem. I did go for him, don't get me wrong, but they wanted how much for him? <laughs> 16 million, that's pretty much half my budget gone. So I'm afraid Ivan, your new best friend, is going to be Juan Latassa. Now I hope you two can play nice together. Charlie called it the has-been hotel. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! It was actually my idea. Ha ha ha! Well, it's not very clever. Ha ha! Fuck you. All right, but the important thing is with this new developed squad, we take the Brexit 4-4-2 to La Liga. Let's see how our first season return to La Liga goes on. Zaragoza's back, return to La Liga is finally here against Getafe, our first opponents. And I just cannot wait 
to bring this new style of football to the elite of Spanish clubs. And two minutes in, it was pretty much sure that this style of football would take dominance. Juan Latasas, he's literally darted in the wing, then offwards went in the box and gets the first goal for us. He kicks things off as Emmanuel seems like a fond memory. 1-0 to Los Manos. But it wasn't just him, as Ivan on the ball, the tackle was not effective, like a Jehovah Witness to a birthday party. Nothing shrugs off the big guy, and he connects with an absolute party cracker for a second goal for us. And Ivan, I'm not going to lie to him, bit the bullet, as he threw ball into Juan Latanas for a one-on-one -on -one chance. And next thing you know it, it's 3-0 against Getafe. Maybe the reason why Katafe is doing so bad is because of a certain player has returned back to their parent club. But it was a little bit too little, too late, as Ivan wrapped up a fourth goal past Katafe. A 4 0 win in our first game in La Liga. If you just mind me, I'm just going to take a picture of the lead table after our first game. Right, I'm hanging that against my wall right now. I swear, I turned over to the football, not volleyball, for crying out loud. Oh yeah, it is football, as it's lovely ball into Sergio. He had no one around him, but instead of shooting it over the net like volleyball, he shot it straight through against Real Batiste. And I tell you right now, Latanas and Ivan are getting on like a house on fire. See? They're playing so nicely, and Ivan just whacked it in for him. But my joys were surely dashed, as Real Batiste didn't find my entertaining comments very amusing. As you can see, Hector Bellerin got an open header past Philippe Jorgensen, reducing the league. And into the second half, it could have got worse. Corner came in, header and an athletic save. But the rebound this time for Leif Jorgensen was able to do a miracle double save. And Real Batiste got a little bit too desperate, literally chasing me off the ball. I didn't know what to do. Oh, you've got to put some swaz on it, Gromit. <laughs> Top beans! Oh yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Just give the ball to Ivan, he'll whack it home. Then at the Lon Morada Stadium, we took on our biggest challenge yet, Barcelona. But we were the aggressive side at home. As you can see, Juan Lotares wanted to do his former club Real Madrid proud, but the Stegen matched with an excellent save and returned the jester with a middle finger in the air. And then the cold, harsh reality hit me square in the face as Torres did lovely work and the shot was better. Beating Philippe Jorgensen and getting the first goal. We weren't dead and buried yet as literally we came out swinging. My arms were too short to box with God. As Lewandowski delivered the killer header to our first defeat in La Liga. Valencia were next and guess what formation we'll be hitting them with. Four, four, fucking two. And it's an absolute beauty. Brexit football at its best as Juan Latanis was one on one. And well, you take away one of one of those chances, you get a 1 0. Sorry if that made no sense, but this probably would make more sense. As Ruben was literally out of position, I dragged him off wide, and that resorted to Valencia grabbing an equalizer. If you think my team were going to be baffled after continuing the goal, you're heavily mistaken. As Hassan Diallo led the counter-attack, he sees Ivan, but Ivan was only the dummy, as it laid it across as Juan Latanes went for goal, but it was a great save. But it did result in a corner, and the youngster whips it in and headed into Juan Latanes himself, who finally got his second goal of the game. Just like getting hit from a joy buzzer from the Joker, it went absolutely hot as yeah valencia did ruin my evening just like me as a kid and someone ruining the harry potter books as they grabbed themselves an equalizer making it 2-2 from near post 
But as soon as my team concedes a goal, they hear the famous words of Neil Warnick in the back of their head. Oh, the bollocks! You've got to fucking die to get three points! As we charge at the bat, over the top through ball, Ivan chest it, Ivan volleys at home, as the big guy surely did die for those three points. But it wasn't just that, as literally Los Manos backhanded the bat, as Ivan delivered more pain to the Valencia team. 4-2 win. Ivan, though, he was still hungry, not for a steak, but for more goals, as he was getting really close right here. But sooner or later, the keeper would just had to tap out, as Ivan delivered a power shot, and the keeper just got a hand to it, but it was no prevail, making it 1-0 to Los Manos. And he still wasn't done, I tell you that. The Spanish striker went for a shot again from the crossbar. And Hassan Diallo just heads it, but it was a great save. But don't think Rafa Benitez's side wasn't going to do anything. As they had a chance, but the post denied them. But before the half, a through ball passed Francis and Celta Vigo grabbed themselves an equaliser. And that kind of deflated my team, just like putting a pin to a balloon. As moments into the second half, Celta Vigo able to break it down yet again for a second goal. As you know the old saying, conceding before the half is the worst thing. With a loss on the cards, we went for it. As Hassan Diallo played it into Juan Lastana as a shot floor, the rebound! Oh, come on, the keeper didn't notice he saved that. But we won a corner. <laughs> Oh yeah, from the corner, Juan Latanas is able to get us back in equaliser. Manuel watching this at his TV screen, a little bit green with envy, I tell you that. And he wasn't done there, as a lovely volley chance, but the keeper just saved. But all my efforts, all my reward, and how does EA repay me? I know, how about a dollar over here? A right winger with 42 tackling tackled Francis and delivered a third goal for Celta Vigo. As the clock strikes near the end, Cinderella's dress was going to be nothing but rags. So we had one thing to do, push for it, absolutely go for it. As Hassan Diallo had the opportunity and as the chief scout found Juan Latanes with the equaliser. It wasn't dead, it wasn't buried, as we delivered the middle finger to Rafa Benitez, like all Man United supporters love to do. We grabbed a very crucial point away to Celta Vigo. Our final opponents were Genoa, and chances for Los Manos were coming in plenty, but they were getting wasted as Gassanigo was able to keep them level. But Sergio, instead of going for glory, Played the assist maker as he played it across the fellow wingman, Asala Diallo, who was able to tap it home for us. But Genoa, they showed us why they're the talk of the town of La Liga. Yeah, they had a lot of good chances, even an equaliser, but they were still pounded on the pressure, even hitting the post. I couldn't even get a breath in. But as soon as I was able to get a glimpse of oxygen, I went for it. As Ivan, he bulldozed the defence, sees one man in his sights and stopping him for a goal, but it was useless. As Ivan delivered a 2-1 pass, flying Genoa for 90th minute. Javi, what did he do? He made him a seg, I'll tell you that. Cross came in, the volleyball, what a save from Philippe Jorgensen. Saving the day, saving the three points as we wrap up the match highlights in very, very lucky style. You can probably guess what the live game is going to be. Real Madrid, the best of the best when it comes to club football. And it's going to be something. It's going to be the battle of the rails. And as well as that, we're going to be taking Brexit football straight to Carlos Ancelotti's front door as we embrace of a live game like no other. Come on, Los Manos. Let's bring it to the Galacticos. See Real Madrid. They're packing it. Uh, Victor Osman's now joined the... Oh, come on. Hello. 
through ball. Juan Latanes, he's done it before, plays it across to Ivan. Go on, got to beat the defender. And he had to take him out. It just had to... Yellow card, are you serious, referee? And you see we're frustrated. He was 1-1 one and one and get absolutely hacked out. Oh, mate, you're just going to be on a hit list, I'll tell you that. Applaud that, Angelo. I'll freaking whack you one. Here they come, Garcia. Modric plays it back to Garcia. Then it's lovely to Darwin Nunes has now joined the squad of Real Madrid. Great. More. Why not? Oh, my God. Thank you, Felipe. Felipe Jorgensen. What a save from the Danish. Oh, I know they're probably the most nicest nation in the world. You're freaking save me there. Danny can say say lost back in the squad. One, two. Valdoni intercepted. Lovely from Ruben. Now it's into Tony. Tony threw balls into Sergio. Sergio counter attack. Where is his support? Ivan, I told you to go on the treadmill. Oh my god, he's not coming past. You know what? Go play it across. Oh, what interception! But Asantiolo taps it home! Oh, that could have been a calamity for Real Madrid. They just barely get it away, but guess who they gave it to? Asana Diallo. What the hell is going on? We take the lead against Real Madrid. Juan Lopez through balls it. Lovely. Sergio got space. Real Madrid, they're a little bit shell shot. What's going on? Crossing in. Header from Ivan. What to say? Danny Casado through balls it. Victor Rossman. Wow, well, trying to tease me. Good tackle. Brilliant tackle. And look what it's led to. A through ball into Sergio. Oh, here we go. Real Madrid fans are getting deja vu. It's happened before. Crosses it in. Into, oh, couldn't get it in there. Oh, heads it back. Down, oh, Tony. Get up at Courtois save. We're really giving Real Madrid a run for their money. Garcia. Lovely run. The heavy touch. The defenders. A little bit out of place right here. Cross it in. Good clearance from Tony. Heads it back down into Juan Latanes. Through ball into Sergio. We've seen this play before. They worked out wonders. Lovely play into Ivan. Into Sana Diallo. Got the first. Get the second. But he misses it before the half. That could have been brilliant. A second goal past Real Madrid. But Sana Diallo, the youngster, he was nervous and butchered it wide. I'll tell you what, these La Liga graphics are amazing. No, oh no, Victor Osman, what a tackle from Ruben. What a tackle. That's a 10 out of 10 defender on the line. Oh, we go. Oh no, oh no, the tackle may go in vain. Victor Osman, what's he doing? He's playing on the way. Oh no, into the Turkish. Now back to the. Oh god, Victor. Oh, out of the air. Heads it down, Philippe Jorgensen with a double save. How is he keeping us in this? Darwin Nunes, Real Madrid are literally peed. Oh, so annoyed right now. Victor Osman, space, time, goes for shot. Good save from Philippe. If you're a favourite on my Bari series, you know how much Osman's been a pain for me for Napoli. We go, we're going to play it short now. And to Trent Alexander now on the pitch. Oh, this is going to be a bundle of joy. Osman holds off the play. Good tackle. Clears it. Lovely. Tony plays it 1 2. And Juan Latanes through ball. Not the best ball into Ivan. We could go for it right here. 1 2. Diallo through balls it into Juan Latanes. Saved. Oh, I needed that so bad. Oh, no. No. Oh, here we go. There we go, Juan Lopez plays it across to De Sergio. Man, the match performance from him. Literally, defenders are falling over here. Tony into Ivan. Ivan, Latanes. Oh, come on. Don't show favourites against your former side. We need a second goal here. Vinicius Jr. on the pitch. Now, through ball it into the Turkish. 1 2. They're getting everyone forward here. We just gotta go for the one nil. Go for the clean sheet. Brexit football. I need you more than anything right now. Short blocked. Tackled Omar. Vulnerable. Oh, here we go. Trent. He could cross it in. Everyone, get your backsides back right now. As it crossed in, the header for Leif Jorgensen saves me yet again. As Sergio was able to get rid of the ball and charge at him. Playing it nice and easy from the back. 87th minute. I'm just waiting for that clock. 
to strike fucking 90th and I'll be happy. I'm sorry for the language. It's been an intense game. So intense. Foul. It's another yellow card. He's got to be off at least. No, you're just going to the free kick. Absolute bias. All right. Let that one slide. You know what? I'm going to go for it. Lovely cross. Asana Diallo. Oh. That was close though. Almost caught Courtois off the back as the shot came in. And you can see it was really close to getting a second goal for Los Manos. But yeah, he's asking for the ball. Just he's demanding it like Joe Hart in Brazil. It's going everything forwards for Real Madrid. 91st minute is approaching. One more minute and a historical win for the returning Real Zaragoza. Over the top through ball as he heads it away, Francis. We have just beaten Real Madrid in one of the most entertaining backwards and forwards 1 0 wins you will ever see. What a win for Mr. Hawks, men, as we took Brexit football to freaking Real Madrid and we got the job done. But let's see how the efforts are gone in January the 1st with the lead table. Okay, we're eight place which i am over the moon if you had asked me at the start of the season i was preparing myself for another relegation battle bottom of the table you know the shazam literally but this team has been pulling off loads of surprises and like i said it's been absolutely brilliant and it shows right here in the table but if we can keep up in the second half of the season well it's a whole different story so many positives to go around i could be here all night but I'm sadly not, as that is going to be the end of today's video. If you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for plenty more career mode content. And as always, I'll see you next time with Rail Zaragoza. Later, everyone.